Hello friends, welcome to Examitian Smriti Notes for Biotechnology. In today's lecture, we will be studying about transgenic animals, their applications and also transgenic animals when used as bioreactors. So let's start with tran transgenic animals. The very first question which arises is, what does transgenic means? Transgenic is an animal which has been introduced by a foreign gene deliberately and that gene is constructed using recombinant DNA technology. We use transgenesis basically to alter the characteristics of animals and make them according to our need. The steps involved in creating a transgenic animal is First, a forest gene is constructed using recombinant DNA technology and is inserted into the host cell and then is transmitted through the germ line and then it is tested whether the inserted gene gives the possible outcomes or not and then the first generation of animal is ready. These are some examples of transgenic ex animals like glowfish, spider silk, environment pigeon, they basically have some enhanced or inserted features in them which enhances their breed and quality. Transgenic goat is another example in which human gene that codes for blood clotting, clotting agent was introduced. Transgenic co cow that is rosy was the first transgenic cow that produced the human protein and transgenic chicken as well and transgenic fish which showed more rapid growth by using growth hormone gene it increased the growth rate it improved the flesh color and increased disease resistant now we will study about transgenic animal as bioreactors that means they can produce some therapeutic protein which has very high value for pharmaceutical use now let's study what does it mean Transgenic animal is basically a fertile animal that carries the introduced gene which helps in providing some useful pharmaceutical therapeutic proteins like mice are genetically modified that helps in producing antibodies. Again I have mentioned the process for gene transfer which starts with embryonic stem cell that is transfected to some embryo cells where multiplication occurs and pure embryo stem cells are formed then they are injected by micro injection into blastocyst the blastocyst is transformed with embryonic stem cells in, in simple words basically we ek stem cell liya jiske characteristics hame chahiye aur humne usko apne ek animal ke andar dal diya jis animal ke andar hum us characteristics ko dekhna chahte hain and then this is called as surrogacy and then we get the desired alterations and that is known as transgenic animal transgenic animals are used to produce milk egg white blood and silkworms. I have mentioned some of the advantages that is some is it is cost effective purification of protein from an animal secreting gland product is simple animals can be engineered to produce a certain substance that offers and some of its disadvantages are the most important is that is it is unethical and highly skilled persons are required to make the therapeutic protein which requires high time and a lot of cost in it. Now we will study the application part which is very important biomedical application that is production of therapeutic protein. Many human therapeutic proteins are produced using transgenic animals as bioreactor because they have low, low cost they have higher level of production and they can be easily downstreamed in process. I have given some examples like sheep that is CFTR that means cystic fibrosis transmembrane conducted regulator that is it helps in the treatment of cystic fibrosis and some others are there which helps in treatment of wound healing or hemophilia. Next application is antibody producing using transgenic animals in which specific monoclonal antibodies are produced. 
another application is blood replacement that is in functional human blood proteins including hemoglobin were produced using transgenic swine xenotransplantation of organs is another application in which shortage of human organs for transplantation is used for development of xenograft techniques which prevents in transmission of pathogens transgenic animals like pigs have been developed to achieve reduced immunological rejections these transgenic animals also have some applications in agriculture that is in wool production transgenic sheep has been developed to increase wool production introducing the gene that is keratin igf1 and the very first recombinant human antithrombin was introduced in goat and it was basically used for the treatment of, of deep vein thrombosis in patients with heredity antithrombin deficiency the promoter region from goat beta casein gene was linked to human antithrombin cdna and the recombinant construct was introduced into the goat's embryo which produced the recombinant hat in the milk the very common example of transgenic am- animal is mice it is the most widely used animal used for testing because it has short generation time and it can carry up to 20 offsprings oncogenes can be introduced into embryos and can be used to produce tumors as well the transgenic mouse can be produced by two ways that is embryonic stel- stem cell and chimeric mouse the basic steps involved in production of transgenic mice are a immature female mice is taken and it is super ovulated then by surgical treatment surgical treatments the oocytes are removed and then a new exogenous dna is introduced into the body and treated in blastocyst then this is implanted in oviduct of pseudo pregnant female mice and this leads to the production of transgenic mice in simple words embryonic stem cells are micro injected with dna and transgenic mice are formed and now we will look into the applications that is it is used as a model for gene therapy to study the growth hormone gene it is also used to test toxic do- toxic doses that are used in cancer therapy it also has an application in retroviral infection that is at 4 to 8 cell stage in which a protective layer called zona pellicida of blastocyst is removed and then transformation is brought about either by infecting the implanted embryo cell of the mouse with sv40 vector and the infected pre embryo are introduced in pseudo pregnant recipient to allow it to develop i have written the entire process in seven steps you can use the diagram which is shown in the last slide and write these seven steps now the next animal is transgenic sheep in this also the gene of interest is injected using the micro injection and it helps in increasing the wool production i have given the flow chart for how a transgenic sheep is produced that is the gene for human protein is mixed with sheep lactoglobulin g this gives a transgenic sheep by recombinant dna technology then this gene is injected into a transgene into nucleus of sheep's egg and then implanted into the egg of foster mother then the human protein secretes into milk then the fractionate fractionate milk protein gives pure human protein i have mentioned some properties of animal cells and their features as well that constrain on design of animal cell bioreactors like the cells may be large in size the next last topic of this video is bioethics in animal genetic engineering that is the problems that are faced in creating transgenic animals some of the major concerns may be related to human and animal health 
it may also be a concern from drug resistant gene markers or some ecological concerns that reduce disease resistant plants so that's all in today's lecture we studied about the transgenic animal and as bioreactors thank you for watching for any doubt or suggestion do comment and let me know and do not forget to like share and subscribe thank you